Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to the Merry Moon Base. Uh, I've just been watching this. This actually got all the way down to the bottom. It evaporated pretty much everything but the very bottom layer. You can see it's still doing the bouncing thing. It's like now the pressure just dropped all the way. Anyway. Uh, this rocket uh, is now done. We've got it built. We've got... 4,000 calories in food. That's fine. Uh, it was... I didn't record it, but it was an absolute disaster. All of my dupes came in here right after this got built. They all dropped their suits. Two of them were wearing worn suits. They wouldn't deliver. There wasn't any air. I had, you know, disabled disc. It, yeah, just the standard. The dupes absolutely want, want to die. But now... I should have oxalite, plenty of fuel, and a range of, where's range? 12. Perfect. Crew, Turner should be over here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. I can go here. I really wish you could control the path the rockets take. Like, I want the rocket to go, like, I want it to go here and then there. Whatever. You're going here. Height limit? What do you mean, height limit? How could I possibly... Damn it! I thought that was fine, because it let me build this tall. Oh, damn it. I guess it's counting those two as being too tall. I have to have cargo. I have to have drill cone. I have to have an engine. Is there a small fuel tank? And why can't I have a small fuel tank? And there's no way to take... Ugh. All right. Any way for me to get there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need a range of ten. Yeah, so that cone fits. Okay. So let's do this. Anyway, blocked. Okay, so I think I need to take out the ladder and then I can put in the big engine. Let me try that. All right, while my dupes are doing that, you can come back over here. Uh, I should have built this two to the right. The reason being is I was like, oh, I can add the batteries, and I ran into the crushed satellite. I don't think it's a big deal. The radiation isn't big around there, and that's not the direction they're running. But I've gone, and it looks like they're done with the solar, so I can start fixing the grid. Yeah, it's like that's running all of this, which I don't really care about. You're not doing much of anything, but you can come power this side. You can do that. That will grab that. I could... I mean, I could plug it into the oxygen system, but I've got plenty of hydrogen so that I'm not worried about. Otherwise, these are all tamed. That one went dormant. That one's going. I'm working on bricking this area in so that I can start to get to this uranium. My liquid tanks are just about full. Let's see which one's being filled. You're being filled. Uh, 
Yeah, I think this one's being filled right now. It kind of got out of order. That one is. Yeah, so I've got like two more tank, a tank and a half left to full, fill, and I've still got all of that. Okay, who's trapped? Well, you wouldn't be trapped if people would build the damn ladders. Come on, where's my other builder? Where is my other builder? Are there two of them in here? No, there's only one in there. Okay, you are both here. Good god, dupes sometimes. And now I should be able to swap you out for the big engine. Well, it wouldn't be blocked if I could... Oh, that's so annoying. It won't let me build the engine because it says the rocket's too tall. But by replacing the engine, I then make the rocket taller. get out yes okay good ah so much fun okay how how do I add the engine you let me build that one but you won't let me build what? I can build the small engine, but I can't build the big one? I don't want to rebuild the entire insides. Now I... What? <laughs> okay, they, they need to work on this mechanic. Apparently I can swap a fuel tank for an engine, but I can't build an engine. Sometimes I wonder about this game. Alright, let me re let me build the fuel tanks back. Alright, some of this stuff is just weird. It wouldn't let me put the liquid tanks... I couldn't build them down there. But I can queue them... I could queue them up? Ugh, okay. It still needs some work. And do I... Oh, now I can add a solar panel and a battery. Might as well, because why not? Alright, and then we need... No, not radiant pipe. You. Yeah. All right, we are getting there. Good God. Okay, while they're building that, like, who's trapped? Oh, you think you're... <sighs> yeah, that makes sense. And you're not really trapped. You've got food, you've got a bathroom, you've got a bedroom. Like, in terms of places to be trapped, that's pretty nice. Okay. Oh, good. That finished this. Perfect. Sweep only all. How about we can clean all this up? Oh, I missed one.
just need one more right there, which this one will pick up and then drop everything. Okay, while well that's doing the big sweep, this pump is pumping everything over to the dirty side, and my base is running off of the big liquid tanks, which are basically full. And even though I have deodorizers over here, I'm still getting quite a bit of polluted gas. All sweep only. Okay, why are you not delivering? Oh, because you're waiting for a dupe to deliver it? How do I set this to not manual use? Like, I don't want my dupes doing this. That's the whole point of the sweepers. Whatever, they're just bored. Well, I had to sw swap to the large solid oxidizer tank because it said with the big engine, I had even less range. So I think I went over in my last playthrough that the big engine sucks. <laughs> it really... 11? Why would it be 11? Oh, because you lost that little bit. I hate dealing with solid oxidizer. Now, luckily on this base, I did overpressurize all the air from right in the beginning. So all the oxalite that I've ever dug up is just sitting around the base. But you probably need glass. Now you. I'm sure I've got glass around here somewhere. Okay, after much delay and much rebuilding, I think I can launch this damn rocket. You, go to there. Range remaining 12. Crew. Turner, who has... whatever. Finally, you enable delivery suit and zip suit. That's enabled. You've got food. You got plenty of food. And you shouldn't need the gerbil wheel or the battery. In fact, while you're in there, we're going to deconstruct that battery because now I've got the external battery and I can move the mini pump down. All right, with the rocket on the way, that's gonna take four or five cycles before it gets there and does anything. This is all very, very slowly getting swept up. Come on, there. You can select everything. Whatever, we just wanna deconstruct. All of that. All right, I should have some lead over here because I need to make lead suits before I go into the uranium. So, lead suit. Yeah, let's make five of them. We'll set that to fix. And we'll put in a liquid lock and some uh, lead suit stuff probably up here, and then we'll come down. So you. Need another layer. And you might as well sweep all that. Uh, I think I'm just tired of my these poke shells. I never really did anything with them. It's just time to kill them. I'm tired of getting the fleeing warnings all the damn time. Up the eggs. Lots of hurt dupes. Alright, over here, starting to put in the suit docks. 
uh, we've made some lead suits. We'll get this cleaned up, locked in, and then I can start to pump everything out of here. Well, my liquid rocket is full. I mean, it definitely absorbed an awful lot of water, but not nearly as much as I hoped. Too bad. What happens if I deconstruct one of those? Do I get giant bottles or do I get a uh, flood? Yeah, I get something to try. Alright, you should be getting power. Come on. I think I need more water than that. It shouldn't get hot in there. You're fine. Somewhere I still had some ice and so there was a whole bunch of water over here but that seems to all be better. And my dupe should no longer get the fleeing warning. Awesome. And another two cycles for you. Oh, the docks are in. I'm just waiting for a whole lot of oxygen to get over here. It's going to take a while to fill all these suits up. But not in a huge rush. These are just about done sweeping most of what they can. Then I can seal in this side. And start to vacuum out this. I think the beehives need to be in a vacuum or I think they don't like carbon dioxide. I can't remember. But then I can come in here, open this up, and then get my dupes out of the way and let the bees start making me refined uranium. We're here! <laughs> so, what exactly is the point of the drill cone if it's actually got a giant robot arm? That's a new animation from whatever the last update was. What's the point of having the drill code if it's got a robot arm? Do I get to see what you have? No, I don't want to be inside the rocket. I want to see what's what's inside the rocket. <laughs> no, rocket. There we go. Yes, but it's way... It's off my screen. That's somewhat annoying. Well, it looks like you're picking up quite a bit of good stuff. 350-ish kilograms of gold, 150-ish kilograms of fullerene. Yeah, so we're just going to let that uh, sit there for a while. All right, that's sealed in. Some of these have gas, but not much yet. That means I can start digging this stuff out. And let the games begin. Oh, the drill rocket is drilling away. My goal is to dig up anything that isn't uranium. And then hopefully all of this will either freeze or outgas and my pump can suck it up. And then I've got a container down here where my dupe should be bringing bleach stone. All right, perfect. You're out of there. Okay, I think I have to put in a door so I can stop my dupe so that I can turn on the suit docks and I'll have them run through and be in a bad place. Will they do it in the right order? Yay! <laughs> Why are you even standing there? Yeah. 
Vacancy only. Okay, good. <laughs> Just making sure I have that set correctly. Alright, now we get to some serious digging down here. I'm assuming as soon as I uncover this, the bees start coming out. What's that? That's sulfur and ice. None of that I care about. I'm trying to be somewhat efficient with the bees and let them do the work on the uranium. Because last time I did it myself and you just end up with nothing. And I'll try not to melt everything this time. You think it matters that there's a critter trap next to my beehive? Hmm. Okay. And now we get the big poof and then a bee should come out. Maybe. I know your food supply is low. Wait, it's got 20... Oh, God, I thought that was a T. It's got 200 kilograms of enriched uranium. That's fine. But how do I get you... to spit out a B? to give it food? It's got a priority. And it doesn't say I have any available errands. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on it and see if a bee comes out. Well, it looks like we got the baby bee. Wonderful. So it did spit one out automatically. I was afraid it wasn't going to do anything. Flight status. Well, you haven't moved. Why are you now saying flight status? Oh, are you full? Cannot store resources, so you must be full. Milligrams. Okay. Well, let's... Range remaining. Where's range? Where... Damn it, where's range? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. I just want you to go in orbit. So it didn't use up all the diamond. Okay. That way we can see the magma planet and then I can get rovers there for thermium or niobium. Okay. Why do my dupes think they're trapped? Bunch of morons. Get out of there. What are you doing, dumbasses? I am so confused as to what's happening right now. What if I give them something to do? Oh, they're just idle. Okay, I got the alert that they were trapped. They're not trapped, they're just idle and they're idiots. Good God. Can you see this planet yet? Another 0.6 of a cycle. Well, let's have a look. Okay, well, it looks like the magma planet. Nice. Let's bring you home. Alright, we've now seen the magma planet. We've got... Now we coming back, we've got a second B. Oh, now we got a flying B. And so now you should go eat the uranium? 
I didn't do a whole lot with this in my last playthrough. I'm going by what I've seen from other videos and reading the wikis. But I'm assuming you're gonna go eat. Or not. Oh, so we got the gas pressure down in there pretty low. How long is my rocket going to take? Three cycles. Alright, well, let's continue the big sweep. Get all these idle dupes to do something. My bees just fed. No, 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 I'm going away. There we go. When you flash, and then do I end up with. How do I get the enriched uranium out? I'm assuming it falls on the ground at some point. Anyway, the bees are feeding it. We're just waiting on them to do. Whatever they do. Or it's my rocket. Ah, oh, you still got two cycles. And then this is just about back up to the ladder again. So I'm going to watch it and see if it wants to start breaking everything again. And bouncing around. No. I went and I got one of these babies trapped. And I thought that's how you turn them into another beehive. I just don't know if there's a room size requirement. But that should be enough space. Yeah, I don't know enough about bees. But we'll see if you decide to plant yourself or if I gotta get you farther away or maybe gotta do something different with the door. Sure, we'll take a snazzy suit. Yep, it's doing it again. I have no idea what causes that. But, whatever, eventually everything in here will get down cold enough, and then that will stop happening. In the meantime, my rocket will land soon. And I'm going to need super coolant. At least a way of getting it in there. Why didn't you do that? There we go. Four tenths of a cycle. Did it! Hopefully that's the right place and it doesn't get stuck, but it looks like we got a second hive over here. Awesome. I believe the rocket has landed. You get out of there. I don't care. And this is all reasonable temperature, not stupid hot, not stupid cold. We have one ton of fullerene. Oh, that's awesome. All right, well, let's just do this. No. Really wish there was an option. I know I've said it before of saying, do not expand this all the way. Yeah, we'll get that stuff out first. As I was watching all the stuff come out, uh, there weren't any... 
Uh, shovels on this map. Oh, petroleum. You know I was missing something. Petroleum is easy to handle. No, four. We got the gold, we got full of green. I just need to get a way of pumping petroleum. We'll put that right next to there and we'll have super coolant. There it is. And yeah, should be able to make quite a bit of super coolant out of all of that. That happens. Well, I guess I gotta make it first before I can dump it. One bottle of super coolant, please. Well, I think we will call that good. For today, we have super coolant, that little bit running through there. Once that get, gets filled up, we can start to cool off the hydrogen. The oxygen's still gonna do stupid things. So thank you all very much for watching. Having to rebuild a rocket was not quite what I had planned, but you know, that happens. I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.